I have done it in the past and it would let me tell you what it will do. It will pepper you, eh? It will pepper you and hurt you as if as if you put pepper there. Hey beauties, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hope. On this channel, we'll do all things beauty, skincare, lifestyles, DIYs, product reviews, and lots more. We have fun basically on this channel. And if that's not like what you're interested in, then you're in the right place. If you're yet to subscribe to this channel, if you've been watching me, you're yet to subscribe, please do want to hit the subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, yay, my notification gang. Thank you so much. I love it. This hat right here is for you. So without wasting much of your time, let's get to it. I dropped a lot of points on my first video. If you haven't watched it, please go and watch it. I'm going to be talking about the side effect of using Dettol. So the number one point I would like to make concerning Dettol antiseptic is Dettol can burn your skin. If you don't use this product, if you don't use this, um, if you don't use this product correctly, you're likely to get skin burn while using this product. That is why in my previous video where I um, showed you how to use the Dettol antiseptic, I also mentioned it and I said it, I think emphatically that this product can burn you and you have to do it correctly. You have to apply wisdom when you're doing this thing. It is an antiseptic liquid and it has antibacterial properties they shouldn't be used directly on your skin or you say because i want it to be active let me just put a little bit of water it's like putting one pack of salt in just one pot of soup because you feel like oh salt is actually one of the cheapest things you can get everywhere so you feel like oh because it's salt and it's very cheap i can afford even like 10 bags so let me just put this whole pack of salt in this soup what will happen to your soup? Think about it. So that is the same thing that happens when you use Dettol. When you use the Dettol antiseptic because you feel like, oh, you have plenty of it and, oh, you want it to work faster. So why don't I just apply extra? Because the more I have, the more I apply and then the more it works. It doesn't work that way. It's just like um, the illustration I just gave you about using salt. So now moving on, what again do you need to know before you even put Dettol on your skin? Do you know that Dettol causes dryness as well? Yes, that all can actually lead to skin drying, especially if you already have a dry skin. I have a dry skin and I remember also saying in the video that this can dry you out. And then, but I don't know if I mentioned it emphatically. So that is exactly why I'm making this video so that I can tell you guys that please and please and please do not prolong the use of this product for the sake of um, clearing pimples, acne, or using it for whatever skincare conditions you want to use it for. Apart from putting what detail in your bath water, which is something like I do almost every day, but not every day because I have a dry skin. And then I only put it in very tiny proportion. I don't even get to perceive the smell of the detail in the water. I just like it present there so that it can help me kill germs because I react to some of these things. So aside trying to use detail that way, when you're using it for a specific skin condition like um, pimples and acne, we sometimes can be very stubborn to treat and you feel like, okay, let me just continue using it every day, year to year, round the clock and see if it's going to work. Don't do that to your skin. Don't do that to yourself. First, it dry. It can dry out your skin. And then I talked about uh, it burning your skin. Prolonged use of this product can also cause you to go through severe dryness. So I'm not trying to discourage you from using Dettol antiseptic. I'm only telling you that if you're going to be using it, you have to be very intentional about moisturizing your skin. Capish, capish. If you're going to be using Dettol antiseptic on your skin, please and please and please go in with a very hydrating moisturizer because this has a tendency to dry you out. This I'm also saying with experience. I showed you guys all of the bottles. I have the bottles lying here and there. I have this tiny one here. I have it in bigger sizes. It's something that I use in my bath water at least three times every week be gentle while using your dental your skin is not some paper it is supposed to be pampered so when you put dental on your skin please also pamper it the way you're going to be using other products because you want it to work you're not begin to apply so much pressure please let's not do that to ourselves you're not doing a good thing to your skin you're not doing a good thing to yourself because at the end of the day there would always be a repercussion for it so please if you're going to be using dental for your skin be very gentle as gentle as you can be now, another point I would like to make is Dettol does not clear acne scars. The scars that you have gotten from treating your um, acne, I have seen a lot of videos online. 
I've seen a lot of people say that Dettol can clean your acne scars. I have used Dettol the longest to know that Dettol does not clean acne scars. Maybe for them, but not on my own skin. So let me just be very, let me personalize it. It doesn't work for me to clean acne scars, to clear acne scars whatsoever. I have told you guys what it does based on my own research and because consciously and unconsciously even before youtube i have been using dettol for the longest so i really haven't heard i really haven't seen that dettol worked for me to clear my acne scars but i have told you in the previous video go watch that video if you haven't how dettol works for me so if anybody is telling you that dettol can clear acne scars it can remove dark spots it can remove uh, dark marks i don't know about that i am not going to advise what i do not know about but i've been using it the longest and i didn't see it fading out my dark scars or dark marks or dark spots whatsoever but if you have ever tried dettol and it worked for you in clearing your acne scars your dark spots please put in the comment section because i'm really i'm curious i want to know if it's really worked because i've also tried it after seeing all these videos i said maybe i'm not doing it rightly and i go try it it didn't work for that but then if you've ever tried it and it worked for you comment down below so moving on now another thing i'm going to say about the toll is the toll can cause itching now that brings us from the dryness parts uh well i talked about Dettol drying out your skin. This one can also cause itching on your skin because excessive dryness of skin actually leads to itching. You guys already know I have a dry sensitive skin and that combination isn't a good one. But then I try to find a way to manage using Dettol in my skincare regimen. So if you have a dry sensitive skin like me, you want to be very careful in how you apply Dettol to your skin and in what concentration to use it. I'd already showed you guys and experimented how to use it in my previous video and I'll be leaving the link of that in the description box and also in the end card. So watch this video to the end so that it can lead you to the video if you haven't watched it but sincerely speaking i'm going to tell you guys detail can cause itchy itchiness it can cause your skin to itch it can cause your skin to begin to scratch you let me just use it let me just say it in a layman's word it go let your skin scratch you guys period because if you if it can dry out the skin it has also the tendency to itch the skin when i didn't know back then there was a time that i used to use detol in high concentration because i felt like okay the more uh, detol i put in my bath water the more protection i get from germs and all that but i noticed that after using it and i go in and i go in with my moisturizer that day i begin to it begins in fact just after coming out from the bathroom and after a few minutes i begin to be, i begin to scratch my skin I, you know i didn't know quickly until i started doing research i started thinking what did i do what am i doing wrong only to find out this is even before youtube so it is not because of youtube and i went to i didn't do this this is just something that i've been using and i've been doing over the years so i got to i already knew that about the tall years ago knowing that putting too much in my bath water actually makes it itch my skin and it happens to a whole lot of people out there because i spoke with some of my friends i just asked them that how does detol react on your skin so combining their experience with mine i can come tell you guys that detol can actually be very very it can actually make your skin very sensitive and even irritated itchy and all of that so you have to be very careful and you know on how you also use this product so this one um i want you to pay attention real good because uh i included in my previous video that data can actually be used for feminine hygiene which is something that i've been doing over the years but now another thing i want to tell you i stated in that video how you can use Dettol for feminine hygiene. I did not tell you to go and now dilute Dettol and pour it directly on your private areas. You have to be very careful how you also apply this because it is an antibacterial product and you are not supposed to even put it directly on that part of your skin. If you know what I mean, you have to go watch the video and then understand what I'm saying. If you don't understand at this point, but I believe you understand. So there's no, don't worry. You're not, you're not the only one on this. I have done it in the past and it would, let me tell you what it would do. It will pepper you, eh? It will pepper you and hurt you as if, as if you put pepper there. And then, so the day I tried it, I know that that was years, years, years back. I was still very naive then. So trust me i know nobody told me that i shouldn't try it again next time so if you're doing it please stop it because i do not advise you to do that so that was not supposed to be um part of the deal but then you know because i just felt like i was curious and i wanted to try it but it's backfired so long story short if you want to try it is at your own risk but please do not because i have a very i have a bad experience to you know go alongside with it and i wouldn't want you to do the same Okay, so with that being said, I hope that I've been able to convince you that Dettol is a good product, but 
also has its downsides and you know its pro and cons and then you should also be careful while using it this is not to discourage you or to tell you that it is not a good product but then you need to know in what um amounts in what concentration in what con quantity to use it. it's not just a trend you should jump on and begin to misuse because it could also backfire and then you come back and say oh it's a lie this thing doesn't work because you actually did not do it rightly so if you found this video helpful and you've worked up to this moment and you have not hit the subscribe button or liked this video please take a second to do that hit the subscribe button like this video share to your friends that need to know have this information and i'm going to see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye